Growing up, we all had that toy. The toy that was always kind of mysterious and out of reach, or you weren't allowed to play with it. Whatever the case may be, mine was Skylanders. I had a simple setup that included the squid guy and some blast zone dude or whatever. And it was always high up in my closet, just sitting there watching us play about. I never really understood the toys. They had no joints and they were stuck to this stand thing. So yeah, I never understood it and still actually don't. But I was just thinking the other day about those toys and I realized, what the heck is Skylanders? I know I'm a little late, but the whole trend, but I started doing some research and found out that there are a ton of games. Like, how could this even happen? And on top of that, here's where I really got blown away. It's part of the Spyro the Dragon universe. Like, what? I love those games. Sure, I would drop one and move on to the next as soon as I hit a part I couldn't figure out. And as you can imagine, I busted through the series faster than you can decapitate some random guy in Skyrim, but I love Spyro. So, here we are. And the interesting thing is, although the Skylanders series, or franchise, if you will, is massive and was super popular, it's gone now. It's just been forgotten. So this begs the question, what happened? Stick with me as we spiral into the the Spyro spinoff, because the questions remain and the answers await, what happened to the Skylanders Empire? Don't forget to subscribe. So to answer our question, we have to travel long and far to 1998, the glorified first Spyro the Dragon game. Now I'm just playing, 2011 we got Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, the first installment of the series. Now although the Skylanders games were cool and set in a unique world, the coolest of cools, the biggest of bigs, was Toys to Life. The idea that you could go to the store, buy a bunch of cool looking figures for Skylanders and basically plug them right into your game was so cool. So that's the simple answer to my entire childhood question. Why don't these toys have joints? Why do they come with this stand thing for them to sit on? So many questions, one simple answer. As Skylanders picked up an insane amount of players, money, and fame, it was only a matter of time until we got a sequel. Or, well, a bunch of them. Skylanders Giants was up next in 2012. This game came with bigger toys, and with bigger toys came bigger prices. But it wasn't anything to worry about. Skylanders was still the thing and awesome. The second game was actually more popular than the first. The game reached the stars. And then Skylanders Swap Force in 2013. Swap Force wasn't as popular as the second game, but it still was way bigger than the first. And just like the game before it, the prices for the toys, aka the key to actually playing this game, continued to go up. And then in 2014, Skylanders Trap Team. Now this game, this is where the numbers start to drop. Just barely beating the first game, Trap Team followed the same pattern as all the other games before it. More expensive toys. And this pattern, sadly, will be one of the biggest reasons for its downfall. In 2015, we got Skylanders Superchargers, and this game only paused the decline in interest for the fourth game. But still, the prices continued up. Now, after a few smaller spin-offs, we got the last installment of the main storyline, Skylanders Imaginations. Imaginations just barely got to half of the interest of the first game. It was the final blow to the series. And from there, the numbers slowly faded off, eventually getting to the dead zone. And before you know it, it's even forgotten. It was just by the grace of God that I even remember the toys that I had that I didn't even play with as a kid. Sure, some people still play the games, but that's the case for, like, all the games out there. Except for Paladins. I mean, come on guys, let's be real. How could a video game series aimed at an audience that makes it hard to fail, backed by an already established and beloved video game franchise, fade off? Off. How could Skylanders, a game that roared through the early 2010s on, simply vanish? And even though you might be thinking the prices are what killed it, there's something much bigger. The same cause that not only killed dozens of games out there, but rippled the ocean of video games itself. Oh, why do I still got this guy's number? Man, I hate this. Hello! It's me, Buck! Yes, I know. Uh, just, just drop the whole voice thing, okay? Oh, okay then. What do you want? Well, I was... I want to stand for the Paladins community when I say that I was deeply hurt by you making fun of Paladins earlier in this episode. Okay? Well, I just want you to know that. That's it? And... And maybe apologize. No, sorry buddy. Hey, wait! Boring! Just subscribe. Now, everybody knows that there are tons of different audiences when it comes to video games. And everybody also knows that one of the biggest are the kids. There are just so many of these little demons running around- Wait a second. 
wrong context. Kids make up a massive portion of gamers, so to say. Now, when you actually pull off a good game, if you tap into this audience, chances are your game will explode. And this is the case for Skylanders. It was a cool, exploration, fun, action-adventure game with cool characters that you could go to the store, buy, and plug right into the game. It was awesome! But the prices for these toys got bigger and bigger. In case you didn't connect the dots, this made it more difficult for your mommy to take you to the toy aisle in Walmart and buy you your... Charizard or whatever. And as each game went on, the prices continued to shoot up. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. The only problem with this is that they didn't catch on to the fact that their games were losing interest. So when the players start to drop, but the costs continues to go up, then you get what we've got here, an only quickened death. Now, I could make a solid argument over the loss of interest being due to the fact that every year has another Skylanders game. I'd also like to see what the numbers would have been like if they made a new game every two years, so to say. But alas, this is what we've got. Now, the final blow that sent Skylanders into the, well, for lack of better words, sky is Fortnite. Though at the time of Fortnite's release, the numbers for Skylanders had reached an all-time low, Fortnite was kind of the final nail in the coffin. The blast of interest that took away most chances of Skylanders ever coming back. But where we stand in 2023, things have changed. Fortnite might not be sitting on the same golden throne it once was before. And man, I just wish I knew someone who had a video on that. Oh yeah, me. Simply put, Skylanders was a series that had a lot going for it, from just the sheer number of games to the players. But Skylanders let the prices of their toys continue to rise even though the interest was washing somewhere else. And that right there is the perfect recipe for disaster. On top of that was the release of Fortnite, which captured most of the audience Skylanders was made for kids. Now you want to know a game that's so awesome that it created its own audience? Look absolutely no further than Elden Ring. Elden Ring forged an audience of gigachats, alphas, and sigmas, even God himself. And if you don't subscribe, and I mean right now, then these little turtle guys will sneak into your house and start randomly turning off random lights and then running away to hide somewhere. So what do you think? For most people, this might be a nostalgic video, reminding of you of old adventures and different times. But for me, it's a video that kind of just reminds me of like two memories I had looking up at the toy box in my closet. If it even was the closet, I don't remember. If you have any ideas for future videos, even though my list is packed, I am all ears. Well, I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And remember, life is short. Play great games. Just the other day, I was playing some Overwatch 2, trying to get Ramatra, if you know what I mean. It's been days with no sleep. And all of a sudden, Cassidy turned around and looked at me and said, Make a video on Vanquish. And turned back around and started shooting again. Well, he emptied a whole magazine before he actually landed the shot, but I was left in shock. What is Vanquish?